disclaimer. I am not responsible for any injuries while partaking in this project. Do at your own risk. Here is a project that I have prepared earlier. As you can see, there is a battery connected on which is powering the switch and the fan. The switch is homemade and I will be showing you how to make it in this video. So stay tuned and enjoy. The switch is made of two paper clips interlocking with each other, which allows for electrons to flow through powering the fan. I am using a 9 volt battery, and I would not recommend anything higher as you may get zapped, and a 9 volt battery is plenty enough to power smaller things. I don't recommend using power hungry things on this switch as it may become unreliable and zap you. Firstly, the materials you need will be a paper clip, a larger paper clip, just so the um, they can extend around the entire like switch, and then Secondly, you will need a roll of electrical tape. Any tape will do, like, as long as it's electrical tape, doesn't need to be any colour or anything. Next, you'll need a pair of scissors just to cut the tape, or wires if you need to cut wires. And lastly, you'll need a pencil, which will be the like chassis of the switch, and all the paper clips will wrap around that. The first step is to grab your smaller paper clip and just extend it out so it's flat or as flat as you can get it. If you don't understand, just watch this. As you can see, you just like pull it out and so it's laying flat or as flat as you can get it it's a bit hard to get it completely flat and then do the same with your larger uh, larger paper clip so just again roll it uh, extend it out flat or as flat as you can get it so it um, extends like the length of the pencil so when you wrap it around if you have any excess you just wrap it around so the next step is to if you have a plastic cover around your paper clips just uh, cut the ends off of them like the end of the plastic so there's just exposed metal, but if yours don't have any plastic covers open, you can just uh, skip this step. This is just for the people who have it. Next step is to grab your smaller um, paper clip and just wrap it around one end of the pencil with both metal ends sticking out, one at the top and then one out to the side. It doesn't really matter what position, just as long as they're pointing out. And then next, you're going to wrap your wrap it together with some the electrical tape that you had, just so it stays in place. Now you're going to grab your longer uh, paper clip and just extend it the length of the pencil so one metal end is touching the pink uh, smaller paper clip end and then the other end is at the other side of the pencil and then you're just going to want to tape it all together like shown in this video. So now you're going to want to um, bend up the bigger paper clip so that it uh, sticks out of the tape so it's just sticking up a little bit and then on both ends of the smaller paper clip you just want to turn them over so one of them at the top like a little loop and then the other at like a smaller loop and then at the top with the bigger paper clip you just want to do the same thing again turn it over like a bit of a loop again and then now you're just going to test the uh, mechanism so it, uh, the larger paper clip bends down and touches the metal uh, bit on the smaller paper clip and then that's pretty much done for this now you're just going to attach wires and then you've got yourself a little homemade switch <laughs> 